Hi everyone, welcome back to Aspiring with Anushri. Today I've chosen to make this video, or rather this travel vlog for my amazing subscribers and also for all the new people watching this video today. This video is about international travel during these difficult times wherein the government of India and Air India are doing a great job in getting back Indians to India through the Vande Bharat mission flights. If you are one of those people who is waiting to come back to India from the UK then hang in here because this video will cover every tiny step that I experienced during the travel. To update you on my travel, I travelled along with my parents and my brother by the Air India flight through the Vande Bharat mission from the Heathrow Airport London to the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport Mumbai. And then we took a domestic flight to the Rajiv Gandhi International Airport Hyderabad and that was our final destination. Now let's get started with the vlog going by the new guidelines of the Government of India from the 8th of August 2020 whereby institutional quarantine at the first airport entry in India which was Mumbai in our case is exempted if one undergoes a COVID-19 test 96 hours before flight time and provides an authentic COVID-19 negative test report. The reason we took a domestic flight to Hyderabad was because of two reasons. One being that there were no Air India international flights from London to Hyderabad. And the second reason being that there were no domestic feeder flights after an international flight. Incidentally, our travel date was also on the 8th of August 2020. So we decided to utilize the exemption. We logged in to the UK government website on the 5th of August 2020 and booked a test at our nearest NHS test centre. Also, the test is free of charge. When booking the test, one can add the booking of three more people who stay together and that makes it four people in one form. After we booked our slot, we made our way to the test centre. The Sheffield City Council is doing a great job in making people aware of how important it is to stay safe. After a few minutes of walking, we reached the test centre and here is a board that directs us. This is what it looks from the outside. It is a very small setup, looking more like tents. There are instruction boards, posters, catalogues and many more along with some lovely volunteers there to guide you through every step of how to do the test. The whole thing took us not more than 15 to 20 minutes and most of it was spent in photo identification, getting familiar with the test and submitting it because the main test hardly took us about 20 seconds and that was it. The result will be sent to you through a message or an email depending on what you chose while filling the form in the next 24 to 48 hours. We got our result 26 hours after the test was given. Also, one last important thing to remember is that do save a copy of the NHS given COVID-19 negative test report as a PDF file and then also take a printout and keep it in hand. Next would be to fill up two forms, namely the self-declaration form and the apply for exempt form. Now let's take a look at where you can find these. You type in New Delhi Airport on Google and open its official website. On the top right hand side, there is a box which says Air Suvidha. Clicking on that brings a drop down with the options of fill self reporting form and apply for exemption. You have to fill both of these one by one. First, fill the apply for exemption form, your full name, your date of birth, your gender, a contact number along with the country code, email address, passport number and here you upload your passport copy. Upload your NHS COVID negative report PDF. Select the number of passengers traveling and fill in the co-passenger details and do upload the passport copy of each passenger. Lastly, read the two checkboxes and tick them in and submit the form. Upon submission, 
you will receive a request number. Next, go back to the Air Suvida column and select the self-reporting form. This is where you enter your request number received from the previous form. Again, some more details and once done, click next and finish filling the form. After filling both forms, you will receive a confirmation email and that is your cue to proceed to the next form, which is the last online form to be filled. For this form, you open a new tab and search High Commission in India, London on Google and enter the official website. You can have a look at the pop-ups coming up if interested and then scroll down until you see these options. In here, select the second option. It opens onto a Google Forms sheet and you carefully put in all the information and click Submit. This will mark the end of your online form filling. Once we were done with our forms, we were ready for our travel. So here we are, ready to go at about 6 a.m. in the morning. And here is the entrance to this amazing building that I'll dearly miss. While watching this beautiful view for one last time, we got into our travel van. We are on our way to the Heathrow Airport in London. And we've arrived. Here is the entrance to Terminal 2, also called the Queen's Terminal. Here is all the luggage we had carried, topped with some beautiful red cloth luggage tags for identification. The airport staff has done a wonderful job in keeping people safe and at a distance from one another. We soon checked in our baggage and made our way to the security check. The baggage allowance for the Air India flight is two check-in bags of 23 kgs each and a hand luggage of 7 kgs per person. In case you need extra baggage, you can buy it at the cost of £144 per 23kg bag. Once the security check got cleared, we made our way to our allocated gate. While waiting for the flight, they check your temperature with a contactless thermometer. After this, if you are a middle seat holder, you will be given a PPE suit to wear which you'll have to wear before boarding the flight and keep it on throughout the journey. And here is a tiny glimpse of the suit in case you want to know how it looks. On the way to boarding your flight, you will be given a paper copy of the self-declaration form you had filled online. Please fill this again as a duplicate. The entire flight crew will be covered in PPE suit and will be at a very safe distance from the passengers. Once you get in, you will find something like this kept on your seat. You will also find this wonderful host smiling at us throughout the journey. You will find a box labelled meal box. There will be another packet where you'll find some tasty dry snacks for you to eat during the flight. And the third plastic pocket will contain a face mask, wet wipe sachets and a face shield. Upon opening the meal box, this is what it looks from the inside. What you'll next discover is that beneath the meal box, there is another box called a snack box. And this is what this has in the inside. Do have your face masks worn all the time inside the flight, apart from the time you're eating, and keep sanitizing your hands as frequently as possible. We also carried a small bag of homemade food, and we were allowed to carry this extra bag along with our cabin baggage. We finally landed in the city of dreams, aka also the place where I have some of my best memories. Soon after landing, we submitted the paper copy of the self-declaration form we had filled in. Next, we cleared the customs emigration and collected our checked-in baggage. A thermal screening again took place. Then starts the quarantine process. You follow the route and next stop at a place where there are people in different counters representing different states and cities like Mumbai, Pune, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, etc. 
as the self-declaration form was first filled online, they will already have your names in their list. And this is where you submit the paper copy of your NHS given COVID negative test report. Our report got accepted and we were exempted from institutional quarantine. After receiving the exemption, we showed them our earlier booked Air India domestic flight ticket from Mumbai to Hyderabad. We had to fill in a few more declaration forms and upon checking of all of these, we were given the transfer to Hyderabad. The transfer from Mumbai to Hyderabad was with the usual Air India domestic flight but this time not through the One Day Bharat mission. They did not allow us into the domestic area of the airport until 3 hours before our flight. So we had to stay back at the international area for some time before we made our way to the domestic flight area. In case the time between both your flights is long, there is a transit hotel available at the airport. Another area I would like to talk about is the Arogya Setu app, a brilliant initiative by the government of India to spread awareness of the coronavirus in India. You will be constantly reminded throughout the journey to have it installed on your mobile phones and register. Once landed at the Mumbai airport, we were asked to show the installed app on our mobile phone. As in our case, my brother and I did not have Indian mobile SIM cards. We informed the same at the airport and we were given an Arogya Setu app exemption note from the officials at the Mumbai airport. The usual process again follows here. You check in your baggage, receive your boarding pass, clear the security check and make your way to your boarding gate. Once we got out, we collected our baggage and made our way to the exit. In the Hyderabad airport, there were no quarantine talks, no filling of forms and no checking of documents, as everything was already completed at the Mumbai airport. We had our temperatures checked for one last time and the doors opened to the exit and we were free to go home and were asked to complete our 14-day home quarantine. And now we are at home in Hyderabad undergoing the same. Hope this gave you a clear picture of how the Vande Bharat mission flights run and how Indians are very safely coming back to India. I heartily thank the ground and flight crew of Air India, the airport staff and the government of India for their relentless effort and hard work in bringing Indians back to India. You will be very well taken care of by the super considerate officials working day and night. Also, an additional thing to note is that please keep checking out for any notifications or updates coming up from Air India or the Government of India. Thanks a lot for watching and do like and share this to as many people and groups you can. Also, please do comment down below if you have any questions that were not addressed in this video or for any feedback or even if you would like to share your journey of the travel. On this note, I will end today's video with a quote filled with optimism. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. So take out any fear or any doubts you may have about the travel and may your journey be free from stress and bring you home safely. Take care, stay safe and a very happy journey.